Hi, how are you doing today? I just want to do a short video on a pen I actually just picked up at a pen auction. Uh, the rough thing about pen auctions is you do get to look at them, but obviously you can't pull them apart to see what you're getting, so you're kind of taking a little bit of a, a gamble. Uh, this one was in pretty decent condition at the preview. Um, didn't show anything significant, but like I said, you don't really know until you pull it all apart. So what I have here today is a Parker Duofold Senior Big Red. I just want to give you a little history on what I believe would be a 1926 Parker Duofold Senior Big Red. So the Big Red uh, premiered in around 1921, and it went through several incremental changes throughout its life. Um, originally, they were made in hard rubber and then switched to a plastic known as Permanite in 1925. And this model has the small imprint logo, um, which still includes the banner that states Lucky Curve on it. And this change would have been made in 1926. In 1928, the single cap band was changed to a double band, and then the Lucky Curve feed was phased out. Uh, this particular pen does have the Christmas tree feed and a nib that is consistent to about 1925 or 1926. Um, this pen most likely then dates to 1926 with that information. The nib on this pen only says Parker Lucky Curve on it, and it is a firm, extra fine nib. For a pen that's 90 years old, this pen is in amazing condition. Um, there's very minor wear to it, um, no chips, cracks, or scratches. All the threads are in perfect condition. So I just want to go ahead and then show you the pen. So you can see the big reds are actually orange. This, uh, you can see, is not one of the streamlined. It is a uh, flat top design. So you have your single band. You see, it's just great condition. Um, I only wiped the outside down. I did not do any polishing. Um, I did not want to mess it all with these imprints because they are absolutely perfect. See them right there. Now, like I said, these are the small the uh, third set um, for the senior with the lucky curve on it. Um, the see all just in great condition in the back there. Love the button filler. And this thing does a great job. It will literally spray ink right out of it. Now you got your cap. Just amazing condition. And I did just lightly polish the nib up. Did not need much work. Um, see how great that turned out. Just fantastic. Nib point absolutely perfect. Like I said, it is an extra fine firm. There's your Christmas tree feed. So you can see the ridges there. And just set perfect. I did not want to knock uh, this out. It's always a gamble with the uh, Christmas tree lucky feeds. So if they're in good shape and they're aligned right, you're just better off leaving them in when you resack it. Uh, it's really all I had to do to this pen was resack it, um, do a little bit of wiping it down, and it just turned out fantastic. Just an absolutely beautiful pen. Can't believe it's 90 years old in this condition. Um, the only wear at all on the pen is just minor, and that's where you can tell where a cap has been screwed on, and occasionally the pen. Probably was posted, but I mean, it's, it's not even going to show up. It's so faint. If I actually did want to polish it, it would probably look like the pen was brand new. Just amazing. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to bring you some more videos in the future. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Have a good day.